Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? Working your way up from the bottom? Instead, how does this sound? Starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. Becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make. Because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn and make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars. It's real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I'll be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. That mean I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. Except and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. others rally around how's it going everybody welcome back to this production of ecac esports my name is laird i am joined by acoustics tonight and we have some awesome smash ultimate coming your way this one is going to be between two teams who are you know obviously start of the season both of them want to make big names but this is going to be uh if i'm not mistaken uh university of South Florida, and then you got uh, yeah. 
University yeah, we, of North Carolina, Greensboro. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So we have Florida Atlantic versus Greensboro. Florida Atlantic. Um, okay. I messed Florida something Atlantic, up. I knew. Yeah. Florida Atlantic, actually, they, they did a surprise on me last week. They actually managed to beat uh, LIU's smash team uh, 2-1. Uh, I have been kind of a greedy. I made a, a bet, and I said um, they were going to lose 2-0 to LIU. And I said they were only going to take, like, two stops. So uh, I, was, I was talking kind of hot. I was talking kind of hot. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I, I will say I uh, in years prior that Florida Atlantic has been a pretty dominating team here. Uh, I usually see them win by one or two, um, you know, major blowouts in in any, any given set. So you know, we we could be seeing them get up pretty early, but I will not say that uh, North Carolina Greensboro is out of it yet because you know this is going to be a fight. I don't know who's going to first. It's going to be a fight. We don't know who's on the team right now this year. Might be might be a new face. You know, what I'm saying those young kids come up in this match. They they play Steve Kazuya. And then oh Boone God, Sunday. no! <laughs> oh no, no, we know. Yo, Bro, dude, you mean, the no. young Steve mains are are taking over. Bro, you have to at least be underneath seventeen to play Steve properly, bro. Right, right. They they know the secrets that you know we just can't comprehend here. Uh, yeah, we're we're at. We don't we yeah. don't have the APM for it anymore, <laughs> bro. We don't have the childlike wonder that playing Minecraft Steve <laughs> brings you. So uh, I, I I do see Pokemon Stadium two get locked in, and you know mm. no surprise here that is the perennial starter stage. But I also oh, see yeah. a Fox McCloud on Wi Fi, which uh, a lot of people have gone on the record and said that this character really struggles in this particular realm. So it's going to be an interesting choice uh, to lead off for, for one thing. However, uh, I'm interested to see who is going to come out on top and then who's going to come out from the opposing team. Mm, okay. Wi-Fi well, Fox is definitely not something I've seen uh, often. Usually you get uh, like more simple picks, like maybe Mario. I've seen like a couple of clouds. Oh, yeah. Inkling We're and be Fox. Getting an inkling. All right. So, so these are two inconsistent characters at the top level of this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say Inkling used to be like a, a lot of people's contenders for a top 10, maybe top yes. 20 character. And man, she has fallen off in such a big way. And after Cosmos dropped her, uh, she kind of struggled to find any amount of foothold in the scene. You know, she still has a couple players like Colorado from St. Louis who are doing her justice. However, um, you know, one of the best players in the world right now, easily the best player in America is Light. So there's quite a lot of Fox bots you can look over. Oh yeah, absolutely. And speaking of Fox Boss right now, Swift Baby looking absolutely good with all that control out there on the stage. Imagine to keep uh, Hydrant out from doing anything at all. Yeah, so generally, oh, he got the drag down, down air into the jab lock with the up smash. Excellent conversion there. It's not going to kill just yet, but man, one or two more percent uh, percentage points on e Ooh, yeah. there's the oh, whole yep. is going to kill. That's what I'm saying, man. Right at 100. You don't even need a setup. You just got to do it raw sometimes. Hey, it will do a rope. That's how we like it, baby. Yes, sir. Nice. Oh, nice edge guard right there. I'm gonna go for those two frames of the ledge, but I'm gonna come back on with a lingering down air to keep them trapped in shield. But right now, Florida Atlantic doing a good job of keeping this lead. The up smash did not scoop up. However, the upper definitely will do the trick. Even game here going to stock number two acoustics. Yep, absolutely. And right now, Hydra managing to bring it back, also recharging some of that ink that they used up right there. Oh, but there's a mix up on platforms. Gonna get Hydra hit. Oh, okay. Double back. Yeah, we can't saucy. Like it. Oh, okay. There's one thing, one thing that Fox does really well, and it is those platform traps. We saw it a second ago, Acoustics. But mm -hmm. the big thing about Smash Ultimate compared to all the other Smash games, you don't have access to shield dropping. Uh, it's yep. the one game where you don't have that ability, so hanging out on platforms is not always a very good idea. Especially Ooh. against characters like this. Both of them have very good aerial combos. Mm -hmm. Nice. And right now, PJ Butter not looking in a good situation. Doesn't get two frames right there. What a surprise. Yep. There you go. Drag down, downer into the dash attack. Nice nice F tilt to counteract the roller. Yes, indeed. Oh! Nice. Dash is out of that grab right there. Ooh! Smash and there's a house smash out of shield. Doing her best Fox impersonation. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, up, up Smash is one of Fox's best kills. However, we haven't seen the sweet spot a single time yet. We have seen a weak hit dash attack. Did not amount to anything. Oh! And right now, PJ Butter's going to get edge guarded. However, a bounce off the side of PS2. And that's an air dodge. They're going to make it back, though. Nice. There's a dash attack right there. Not going to get a killing punish. Gets hit by the back here, though, on the way down. Yeah, oh, man, just to barely dodge the bomb. 
I do heavily respect the fact that uh, in, instead of going off stage, Hydrant is opting for lead traps. It's a very good good thing to do against Fox, you know, because it's really difficult to just flat out beat oh! that. Um, okay, you know, might have missed the upbeat button and accidentally air dodged into the depths and, and lose their stock. It's not a good thing you want to see an SD at this percentage, but mm -hmm. uh, then again, they did enough to flo uh, Florida Atlantic where PJ Butter is going to have to struggle here. But again, max rage, acoustics, this is very scary if uh, oh, no. Hydrant gets enough damage on them. Yeah. And one more of those strings, and honestly, this could be ended very bad. No kill throw right there. So, oh, there's the chase with the dash attack in the nair. And there's that platform trapping yet again. Here's the thing about Inkling. Inkling has a really good uh, mid to high percent kill confirms. The thing is, whenever you're at this percentage, it is really difficult for Inkling to get a uh, raw kill on you. However, a falling up air is going to do the trick. It is one apiece here. PJ Butter with a massive lead. But then again, you got a little bit of ink on that box. You could be taking more damage. Yep, absolutely. But it is nice. Good mix-ups on shield. Realizing just coming down with Nier and just running right out. Oh. Oh! Try, tries to try, get a delayed Nier. Yeah, try to go for neutral air, or neutral beat pressure as well. And an air dodge through the up smash. That might have actually saved him the game. He's still in it. Ooh, down throwing it back here. Nice dodge. Dude, that jab into dash out so he didn't get up smash. That was so smart. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get a follow-up after. Mm-hmm. Oh, down! Yeah, yeah. Whoa! The drag down there! Oh. No tech, baby, and that is going to be a Fox McCloud victory. PJ Butter stands tall in the face of Hydrant, and uh, is going to be securing a one-stock lead for uh, their home team. Good stuff to them. So Florida Atlantic takes uh, the, the first blood here. Yeah, but honestly, that was an incredibly close game right there. It came down to last stop. So honestly, uh, it's not a bad position to be in against Florida Atlantic at all for possibly like the strongest team uh, in the league uh, to only have a one stock difference uh, going into your next uh, teammate. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, again, you know, if you just take one away from whoever uh, uh, UNCG brings in, that's a big thing for your team because, again, even one stock advantage for you is... Yeah. is you could carry it such a long way. And especially in, in three-man crew battles, you know, generally in, in the Smash Bros. world, we'd like to see, you know, five-on-fives, four-on-fours. But here, three-on-threes means there are a lot fewer players who are going to be viable. And there's a lot more room for error because you don't have a lot of people backing you up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You don't, you don't want to be the guy on your team who gives away three stocks without taking a single one, right? Yeah. You never, you never want to be like that. The weakest link on the team, right? No. So, so this is honestly still a great start. Of course, you don't want to lose. I don't know who wants to lose the first match. But to lose one uh, match one with just one stock away, you can definitely make something happen. Uh, the real question is, what is Greensboro going to bring in next? Well, and it looks like they are bringing in some of the best music in this video game. I... Yeah. Oh, we're going to catch? Okay. I respect. Mad respect for going to this one. Okay. Okay. I like, I like what I'm seeing here. Now the question is, what stage? Are, it looks like we actually chose Battlefield. Yeah, it looks like Battlefield. You know, Fox is pretty pretty good on this stage, and it's going to be against uh, a Robin coming Robin. in. Another uncommon character at the high level of Smash Bros, but definitely one who has the ability to kill here. Now, yeah. the one caveat to this matchup is you have a lot of tools to deal with Fox, you know, from a distance. The problem is when Fox gets up close, Robin just gets shredded, man. Robin oh, does yeah. not have very good grounded speed. Actually, I believe they're one of the slowest walkers in the game. Uh, yes. And definitely one of the slowest runners. They had, Robin has, uh, like, I think it's like bottom 20 on, uh, on walk speed and run speed. Uh, and her, their out of shield That's options, honestly, point. is not, <laughs> not one of the best. Yeah, but right now, a drag down forward air, trying to get some more follow-ups, but not gonna result in much. Nice. Gonna charge up that thorn right there, too. Yeah, yeah. These level two uh, thunders are, are definitely gonna be a, a, a pacemaker for Archmage coming in for uh, UNCG. Okay, okay. I respect the name Archmage, too. Someone be playing some Fire Emblem. Yeah, man. He knows, he knows what's good. Definitely okay. a fan of the franchise. Okay. Oh, yep. And getting hit right out of that Arc Fire. And this is just like what you were talking about. Fox gets up close. Oh, oh, no! I mean, he can play that distance game, too, but it don't matter when the fear factor's down. 
Oh my goodness. I didn't know that this is game meant into the blast zone. My bad. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you play a little too far away, you know? Sometimes you gotta scrap a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right, right now, PJ Butter just going in, realizing, listen, I got one stock left to give. I'm not, I'm not going to spend it on defense. Let's go. Yeah, and on top of that, you, you got to realize that he probably feels like I didn't earn that stock. I want to earn this one. Mm -hmm. There's some pride on the line here. Nice. Oh, and the down smash. Going to get the shield oh, pull. Yeah, that's excellent, excellent shield pressure. So whenever you've got the pillar of the, uh, the arc fire on the shield, you're stuck in shields. If you try to roll out, uh, you might get punished there. But um, that that down smash was an excellent option because holding shield in Robin's face means you're probably going to eat a down smash. It's got two hits. Both of them do substantial shield damage. And on top of that, when you got the, the arc fire whittling away at it, that was a, a potential break. So you really needed to drop your shield there. And uh, for the counter pick, we are going to be getting a Ridley, which is, again, another... Odd choice to try to deal with Robin Shield because there. this is a and, uh, big body. He gets hit with projectiles really easy. counter pick, we are going to be yeah. getting a Ridley, which is, again, another... I can hear myself. I don't know why. Yes, Robin yes we can. A big body. He gets hit with I love hearing yeah. myself, but, like, not this yeah. much. Ridley, which is, again, hey, listen, you don't like to hear yourself, man? I can hear man? myself. Please. I don't know why. Yes, we can. Oh, God, there's so many of them. I love hearing man. myself. I'm, I'm like, stressing a little bit. Listen, listen. Wait. The good thing about being me... Is that there are so many me? Oh God, there's so many. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like stressing. A Dude, bit. I'm 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 freaking out right now. I don't know if the chat's hearing this. I don't know if you're hearing this, but I got voices in my head right now. Yes, yes, I know. I'm, I'm, um, I think this might be right a little I don't know if the chat's issue. hearing this. I don't know if you're hearing it this. It could be. I got voices in my head right now. Dude, this is uh, I'm, I'm, so acoustics. I'm not trying to have a conversation with you and 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 not not the 50 others of me that I could hear. Uh, oh, well, I mean, I can still hear you pretty well, so we're good. We're so acoustics. I'm not which to have which a me though? You and, and, and not I, I'm here originally the, the one right oh, now. The, the, the real deal. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I also well, hear the, the many other you, so but we we so ignore which which me. True, true. Okay. I'm so, right all right, the, Ridley the, the, the versus yeah, Robin. I mean, it looks like we're going to go to Hollow Bastion. This is one of the smallest stages in the game, so there's a lot of really good so, uh, stuff that Ridley can right, do here. Big hitboxes can cover that entire Robin, middle platform, Bastion, especially that up smash. Those neutral layers are going to be really so, difficult here. But then again, uh, small stages mean you also get hit by projectiles a lot easier because they cover a lot more space. Especially that up smash, those neutral layers are going to be really Honestly, and then, like, then just again, choosing a body against small Robin stages is like... Get You're asking to be combo fooled right, right after any arc fire, and you really just don't want that. Yeah. And then, like, just choosing at the body. All right, hang on. I figured out a solution. I am You're simply going to turn off my volume mixer. Fire, oh, beautiful. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Uh, yes, I can. All right, I can hear you great, and I don't hear a million of myself. So, currently up a stock is Florida Atlantic. Still, they have uh, the man in the chair, Salty, coming in with that Ridley. But he's a little worse for wear. Uh, you know, almost out at a very currently up a stock. Close to kill percent on this first stock. Oh, nice. I guess the L win right there. Oh, the only thing stage spikes. Dude, that was so smart. Recognize that falling off the platform means that you don't have a a a, a, a re grab so the down smash didn't it sent up Thanks. right into the bottom Dude, of the stage that was which means so uh, you gotta tech that and it doesn't seem like arc rage was quite ready to do so so you know i don't blame him i don't think i would have been either but it's a very difficult situation to find yourself in here yeah absolutely but right now arc mage is just playing it really well not allowing the ridley to get any ground control whatsoever not even establishing anything whatsoever oh there's the backyard of shields yeah oh, should... there's that near the strong near while she has like enhanced book is just too good. Oh my god! Yep, yep, and you can confirm out of an arc fire into a kill. Excellent stuff there from Archmage. Trying to fight the way back into it. It's going to shield that up smash. It's going to be a, a little bit of extra damage here with that forward air. Now, another interesting property about the uh, the Levin Sword is that it has electrical damage, which means you're an extra hit stun after you get hit. So sure. the combos are a lot easier to come by. It is electric, boogie woogie. woogie. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I could help you. I'm sorry. No, wow, no, you good? I was about What's to up? say that totally really was gonna kill. Man, nice. it seems like Salty really likes down smash. And to be honest with you, it's worked out pretty substantially in this matchup. I, I can see why he's throwing it out this, this frequently. Hey, listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's yeah, what that's what I'm saying. What used to say. Okay. Oh, nice. Caught him DIing the forward air. Didn't kill just yet though. 
Air dodge, Ooh. yep, it's going to be red. There's a back air. Mark Mage did their work, all right? They, 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 they secured themselves a pretty easy position for the team to get back in. Uh, now they can put a cherry on top of that by taking the lead here if they take this next stock. However, I don't oh. think that's going to happen. Snatch out of the air, yes, it's going to be salty taking that one. But still, bleeding two stocks out, you know, with, with, with just two to your name, that's not a bad deal. Uh, salty now has only one stock remaining. So whoever comes in last for UNCG, if they can take one, it's going to be an even game going into uh, the final player. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And again, like, this has been a very close set so far. Like, it's only been a single stock lead the entire time so far for Florida Atlantic. Uh, honestly, if the anchor for uh, for Greenboro's team can keep it together, uh, get a no-stock uh, kill on the on the Ridley, we can make something happen. We can, we can see a, a clean 3-3 at the end. Yeah. And honestly, that's like, that's like the best situation uh, that you got out for. I, know, I wouldn't be shocked either because, you know, this team's been doing a good job of keeping pace with uh, Florida Atlantic. Florida Atlantic, again, not someone you want to trifle with. They are a very good team. Mm -hmm. Right now, Greensboro ain't no slouches. Gotta, That's gotta true. Gotta show some respect. Yeah, no, I know. We were, we were gassing up, uh, you know, before the stream, we were talking about how Florida Atlantic, they are, they are you know, pretty well established within this realm. Uh, but then again, you know, Greensboro, they're, they're impressing me a little bit with their counterpicks. They got a very interesting couple of characters so far. We got an Inkling, we got a Robin, and we're going to see who their final character is to round out the roster. I'm very interested. We are going to be going to Kalos for this one, Kuzix. Kazuya, come on, give me the Kazuya. Ke hey, Ken. that's, a, that's an FGC. I'm happy. Hey, hey, FGC wins, baby. I take those. Yeah, I like this. I do like this quite a lot. Now, there's one issue here that I do see, Kuzix. It's the fact that we're on Kalos. You know, oh, this no. is a flat stage, and we do know that FGCs really like flat stages. Here's the problem, though. This stage has one of the highest ceilings in the game. So it is very, very difficult for Ken to get kills off the top here. And that's primarily where he is going to be wanting to take those stocks with these short Yuka combos. So uh, this will be interesting, to say the least. This is definitely going to be interesting. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, yeah. no! And that's the other problem, too, because, you know, Ken gets edge guarded pretty easily, and, and Ridley... Multiple jumps, really big hitboxes. They are a very good edge guarder. Yeah. You know, right? mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Right now, there you go. Salty still keeping in. Ooh, good Tatsu combos right there for Omnilax. Oh, this is very good. Nice. Oh, oh I was looking for an upper to shore you, but didn't get it. The backer's going to interrupt. The salty. Down to the charge F smash. Right now, Omnilax is a scrimble windowing all over his controller. In a lot. Oh. The back air, that's going to take it. Wow. At a hundred. Wow. That's that's the foot of a fighting game player. I did it. Right? Put, put a little. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, we could yeah. put put this a little bit of heater on, on that back air too. Yo, that that was extra heat on that back air. I don't, my brother was cooking something. Okay. I mean, that's a strong movement. You know, Ridley's not a light character though. Ridley, Ridley's chilling in that. 107 weight class but then again you gotta you gotta put that in mind uh that ridley is actually lighter than ken is <laughs> i'm i'm so serious i i wish i was joking but i am why not. <laughs> that Dude, doesn't make yeah. i wish i knew i i do but no zachary said no ridley should be like super light actually all right i didn't i didn't know my man ken was out here okay yeah. Okay, Who's actually, heavy? wait, wait, okay, never mind. I got him mixed up with Terry. So, sorry, Terry's heavy, okay, really, but, but Ken, Ken's a little lighter. Never mind. No, no, Terry's, Terry's makes sense because um, the hat, the hat carries the weight of, um, That's of true. his town on it. The, the dust. So. No, I'm with you, man. Uh, also, he's wearing leather. You know, Ken's wearing a gi. Gi's are yeah, he's wearing jeans. He got, you know? the, he got the Converse's on, the hat. Like, he's so dripped out, it's, it's wearing him down. I understand. Yeah, yeah. But then again, it helps him live a little bit longer. But then again, we are going to be seeing a different character coming in. This will be Yoshi to round out Florida Atlantic's roster. Oh, all right. So yeah, uh, we might be trying to cheese out Ken this time. Yeah, Yoshi versus Ken. Yoshi is actually heavier than Ken. I I, I can confirm that with with without a shred of doubt. It is only by one unit, but then again, it doesn't really matter, man. Come on, small battlefield's going to be the pick here, acoustics. Oh, okay. There we go, giving up that first stock like we have to. All right, it's two, three. Omnilax have to take three stocks. Yeah. 
and there's only oh. two that needs to come in for Florida Atlantic as well. So I think this, this battle is going to come down to a, a, a couple of things. Yoshi's really good at keeping you in the air for long periods of time, and Ken's really bad at getting out of those situations. But yeah. I will say, um, what Ken does have is some very strong out-of-shield options to deal with Yoshi. And if Yoshi gets a little bit too comfortable up close, might get uh, bodied a little bit. I mean, look at this. So much damage out of the present kick combo. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, yeah. So, the, the other thing is, like, while Ken can get great combos over Yoshi, it's also the fact that uh, Yoshi has resting hyper armor on Joe, uh, yep. which helps deal a lot with Ken's pressure in the air. Um, he also has multi-hitting aerial moves, which is really great for getting Ooh. down B. But oh my goodness, it doesn't matter with the smash attack. Then it's even it up to a 2-2 two -two stock. Yeah, I mean, put, put Swift Baby like a deer in the headlights there a little oh bit. Oh my, so the parry. <laughs> he's, he's been going for that shield break setup whenever uh, the shield's active. So mm -hmm. and the thing about Yoshi is you can't shield poke him. Uh, that move is very prone to actually shield poke. But, you know, on Yoshi, he's in the egg. He, you can't do that. He's taking all that damage with his shield. You touch that thing one more time, it's popping. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's the down B. Ooh, so the the smash from smash. center. All right. Oh, so he's trying to, yeah, he's trying to get a down air out of it for some extra damage, but it's not going to matter too much. Omnilax is going to get out of dodge. However, Omnilax on their last stock here. Swift Baby, two stocks away from taking this one. Or actually, only one. They, they have two. Yeah, they only have one stock to take right now. One bad move right there for Ani Lax, and he could be done. Yeah, you gotta be Ooh. really careful in this situation. Okay, that's gonna be our roundhouse kick. DI mix up is not gonna go unchecked. Uh, Swift Baby. Oh might... no! Oh, he whipped it! Can he live this one though? He's gonna get egg laid again, down tilt into the down B. So it's a lot of damage, but it's not gonna kill just yet. He's staying in the egg just long enough to not get hit by any hit stun. Nice, and a great punish on the down B right there. All right, now hold on. This is Ken with Rage. Oh my gosh. He's at oh, 51. Yeah, 51. Hang on, it's a doable. F smash. This one will not kill from center. Downer's going to come out, but he's going to use that to recover a little bit. There's the egg. A second egg. He's going to focus. Oh, he's going to get wow. spiked out of the focus cancel. And that's going to be going up 1 0 in the set for UNCG. Swift Baby stalls out Omnilax and is able to win that one. Oh my gosh. Uh, my heart. Not like this, Ken. I like this. I mean, he, my man had everything, but unfortunately, did not quite have enough there. And that's going to be our, 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 the, the people that we were like, oh, dude, they're going to be having their work cut out for them. But it is UNCG who are going to be winning the first set. Oh, yeah. No, UNCG is actually winning the first set. Was that uh, Florida Atlantic winning the first set? Was it Florida Atlantic? I, I thought, I thought UNCG was uh, Swift Baby. No, Florida Atlantic is with baby. Oh, well, never mind. It's Florida Atlantic. Yeah, for, for they won by one Gary stock. Works. One stock, one stock. They, they managed to keep the status quo by one single stock. Right? Yeah. By one single stock. So, then again, oh. I, I got to say, I am impressed with UNCG's uh, character pool. Yes. yes. They are. Uh, they Absolutely. Are. I mean, they have some very interesting selections there. You know, the, the Inkling, not something you see at, at all. Robin, a character you absolutely never see, except from, like, one person in Colorado named Enharmonia. He's, he's the only one at this uh, high level here in the States. And then, on top of everything, the Ken to round things out is an absolute hard matchup check for a lot of players. So, if you don't know that matchup, you might get snapped. Yeah, and anytime someone plays just one of the fighting game characters... So like Ken, Ryu, Terry, Kazuya, they are all harsh matchup checks. They, they, they require you, like, you better know a little bit of knowledge of what my character can do, or your character better be good at just shutting down my character. Like, right. If you don't if you don't have one of two of those things, you are in for a rumble. And yeah. honestly, right there, Greensboro almost managing to turn it around. He's at 51%. The Ken had rage. It's just, man. The edge guard by Yoshi, by Swift Baby, was just way too good. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm actually just trying to think of any way he could have just gotten us out of the situation, because uh, he used his jump. Uh, he got hit by down air, but it sent him upwards, so he's down one jump. He focus attacks the first egg, but then he throws out the second one. Yeah, um, he hits him again, hit and then yeah. reads it perfectly with the forward air, you know. And, and that's the thing with Yoshi. That's like the one thing Yoshi has against Ken. He's got dish joints. He's got a big old noggin forward air. He's got back air. He's really good at juggling. Uh, but we do have the, the character picks coming in here first. 
it is going to be PJ Butters coming in for, I believe, Florida Atlantic. And then we're going to be having Omnilax, who's going to be leading this time Ooh. for his team. So he, he kind of wants to cut them off early and get a lot of momentum. Instead of anchoring, he's going to be leading. Okay. You know what? This is also kind of a in Ford pick as well. If you know Swift, baby, who is the other team's anchor, probably plays like the worst matchup on the team against you. A surprise switch like this isn't too bad because now you force Swift, baby, to either come out earlier to counter you or if he stays anchor, uh, his team could potentially lose more stocks than they really want against him. Right, yeah. So, um, so I'm going to be real with you. I think this is a really good matchup here for Ken. Ken has a lot of really good out-of-shield oh. options. There's a problem, though. Uh, he didn't know how to get out of those up tilts. And, uh, he definitely PJ, did not. <laughs> PJ Butter's feeling pretty good about that one. He's like, wait, are you a fighting game character, too? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Right that. Right now, Omnilax just trying to look for that one clean hit again. He has to be good, careful though. Fox has like very good frame data. Oh my the gosh! Kind of oh yes! This is what he wanted. Oh my goodness, Omo gets to read. I mean, he gets 60 off of that one whiff. He actually focused right through an up smash, which was really brazen of him, but hey, he was able to make it work. That's the sure you can. That should oh, kill. Oh. Yes, Fox, one of the lightest characters in the game. I believe they're tied for the fourth lightest character. Uh, yeah. No. They are, they, they are the fifth lightest character, yes. Fifth so, lightest character? He yeah. dies early, man. He, he got explosive kill power, but if you're not very smart, you can uh, be losing those stocks pretty early, too. But yeah, very even with those gamer. robot legs, he's not that heavy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You have to be careful. So you definitely have to be careful on, like, down taking or, like, dodging down because of, like, the auto turnaround of, uh, of Ken. Like, he can easily just get a, a good punish off of you, like, down taking into him. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I mean, going for these fast options out of shields. And on top of everything, you really can't cross up Ken just because he's got that auto turnaround mechanic. It makes it a lot more difficult for you to get behind him uh, or in his blind spot. He really doesn't have that many. Oh, yeah. a, true, a true martial artist has no blind spots. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, but Swift Baby realizing up here, which is a two hitting move, is very good for dealing with Ken and A. Oh, oh my man. Goodness. He you didn't even. Have... He didn't even need every hit of that Shoryuken. He only got two if you guys are uh, looking closely enough. But again, didn't matter. He still was able to get the finishing blow. He's going to get the Crescent Kick oh, into the car cancel down God. smash. Into the Hadouken. That's 58% on his face. Goes for the shield. Oh, right. But he's going to drop his shield. He's not going to get snapped. Okay. I like that. Just waiting right there. PJ Butter getting the up here. Not going to be able to get a kill yet. Oh, no. Ooh. Wow. I love that. That was perfect spacing. The illusion right into that shield. Doesn't cross up anymore. Uh, however, it's going to do a lot. Oh, yep. Reads him out. But oh, stop. unfortunately, he is not going to be uh, able to survive that shield. He's going to get comboed here a little bit in a tech situation. Air dodge through it. Footstools him wow. out of jump. Interesting. Oh, I no. I can dig it. That footstool is messing him up. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Dead, dead, dead. Goodbye. Try oh, you. combos. Man. That, that got a little scary at the end for all they likes. I'm not going to lie. My guy uh, got put through the spin cycle a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest, even though Omnilax takes game one, I don't think this is kind of what he was hoping for. I think he was hoping for at least like a two-stock lead against uh, against probably what he thinks is one of the weaker players on Greensboro. Um, I mean, on uh, Florida Atlantic. And possibly hoping to come out with maybe a two-stock lead into that next match to force out uh, Swift. I don't think uh, Swifty is going to feel the need to come out at all. Still going to send in the Ridley. Yeah. So, I mean, as, as you can recall, um, the, the Ridley was able to take that first stock very, very quickly against Omnilax. Uh, and that's just because of his really good edge guarding ability. So, and also Ken's lackluster recovery doesn't really help very much. But on top of everything, you got to keep in mind that Omnilax, after they lost that first stock, they got locked in. And they were ready yeah. to go for the, for the rest of the match. They were able to take two very quickly. So if we don't get that first zero to death from, um, uh, oh my God, I forget his name. We're going to see it in a second. But, but from this Ridley, if, if the Ridley doesn't contribute early, we might be able to see Omnilax go for a lot of extra damage. It is salty. Okay. Uh, all right. I think, I think the main thing is Omnilax needs to avoid a four throw at the ledge no matter what. Yeah, for sure. And then like any of these multi-hit aerials as well. Like that Nair is a really good setup option. The forward air keeps you uh, at bay very well. 
Uh, back air is a really good trading option for Ridley. He's gonna go for a stolen fall there. Oh wait, there's that forward air. Oh, there it is, guys! There, he got that air dodge back to the ledge though. He's doing all right. Ooh! Nice. Tries to tech chase over there. Doesn't get anything from it. Like that. Throw out the Hadouken. Just approaching very safe. Which is what you want. Oh! Doesn't get the true input right there. But he doesn't need it. Here. Oh, but he's gonna survive that one. Nice! Okay, all right. Omni likes up on the board. His team is in the lead firmly. Mm -hmm. Nice and good use of that focus attack. Ridley's near is only a single hit. So that focus attack is going to have him really get in there. Oh, nice. Immediate Tatsu right there to get out of disadvantage. Yep, making yourself shifty whenever you're trying to recover. Putting out a hitbox when your opponent's trying to hit you. That's a very good option if they don't have a read on it. And right, right there, Salty didn't. So I'm in like doing his job pretty well right now. Mm -hmm. and Omnilax is playing this matchup absolutely perfect right now. Uh, he realizes that Salty just doesn't seem to know which out of shield option that he can really do to deal with Ken. And he has already lost two stocks to Omnilax. That's what I'm saying, man. Another thing about Ken. Oh, oh he got rolled. Yeah, he got rolled red. Okay, so Salty's able to cut him off, but I, I think I think the stage really didn't help him out much there either. Yeah, you know? you know, even even if he rolled backwards or forwards, I think he was actually still. Uh, within the area to get hit by that smash attack. Oh, yeah. That, that smash attack is massive. It's one of the strongest ones in the game, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Ridley really got heavy hitters. But the thing about yeah, Smashville is that it's a really small stage, which means, you know, Ridley covers a lot more of it. But on the flip side, Ken is also able to put you in tech chase situations for much longer periods of time because there is less room for you to run away. Uh, and, and, and there's also a lot less safe ground for you to be on. So if you try to be too aggressive on Ken, you're going to get chipped out of shield, and then you're probably going to be eating a big combo. Yeah, yeah. And, like, every time that Salty would, like, uh, get pressured on shield, I don't know if he was uh, – there were times where he would go for immediate grab, um, but immediate grab will get hit by the heavy crescent kick, um, mm -hmm. and it would kind of trade, and then he would disengage or a doken and just reset back to the neutral. And you could feel, like, Salty was kind of getting frustrated with the situations and seemed to be, like, forcing the issue against Ken – which is not really what you want, because uh, no. Ken's jab punish is way better than yours every time, I promise. Yeah. So, so uh, we have James Man coming in next. Uh, that's who Omni Likes is calling up. We haven't seen James Man yet this set. So this will be this will be interesting to see who they play. Obviously, uh, toting a very, very deep roster of characters there. Okay, okay. let's see. Watch. He's about to pull out the Sora. Let me see. I don't want to see the Sora. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Sorry, Jameson is Hydra. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, God. So, I was man, ha, ha, multiple aliases. Yeah, multiple aliases. <laughs> hey, man. By, by 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 night he's Hydra. By day he's Jameson. That's OD. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, gonna be salty having to drop two right now. They are at a bit of a deficit here. Florida Atlantic, uh, and, and Omnilax were able to put up a really big lead so far, but right now we got ourselves a scuffle. Oh, yes, he did. And now we have a really covered in paint right there. Going to go for that double nair, triple nair. All right. Like that, build up the damage. And right now, so Jamesman doesn't have to, like, play this crazy at all. Uh, he can really just, like, rack through some damage and then try to go for, like, a kill off a combo, off a big read. But right now, he's getting the damage racked up on him. Yeah, that's the thing about Ridley, man. If you, if you just let this amount of chip damage go to the wayside, you're going to be at kill percent a lot sooner than you know it. And Right now he's covering the ledge really well with that plasma breath. Gonna go for the down smash at ledge, but a get up attack from James Man is going to be the trick to get him away. He's gonna jump overneath the, or over top of the splat bombs so and will not get hit by it. And right now, starting to stabilize a little bit is James Man. He was at a bit of a deficit early on, but did a lot of damage so far. Gets the up throw, gets the up air, not gonna kill just yet though. Nice indeed. Oh, and there's a grab right there. Okay, wow, you I'm managing to take the stop. Okay. Making it a little bit easier for the player in the back is Salty. And uh, keep in mind that uh, Salty has one stock left, and they are the number two player. So uh, if they don't take any more stocks, they're going to need whoever's in last to take five straight if they want to win here. Yes, indeed. So right now, Salty looking pretty good in the edge guard situation. Going to shield that. No punish. Nice trip back near. I swear it fair again. Yeah. Oh, he gets oh, buried. Man. He's going to mash out in time. Ah. He will not. Yep. There's that F smash, baby. Yeah, that's that. that used to be the S tier classic for Saw Roller come out, you knew you were dead. Yeah, unfortunate there for Salty, but Salty did his job. He's able to take one extra away. 
So it is much more manageable for presumably Swift Baby, who will be coming in in the final position for his team. Uh, but Florida Atlantic, only one player away from being able to manage a stabilization here and make it a one-to-one -one set count. So, okay, it will be Swift Baby coming in. The, the stage picks are being selected at the moment. Um, against Inkling, you probably want a little bit less... Uh, you want a little bit more verticality because they do really well on big stages because of their uh, movement speed. Yoshi really doesn't do so hot there. And we are going to be going to Yoshi's, which has one of the lowest ceilings in the game as well as uh, three three platforms. And that top platform, really close to that top last zone. You're going to be dying real soon. If you get hit by these ladder combos from Yoshi. So, yeah, and that down air is so good at just setting up for high off the ceiling kills. Yeah. So we're gonna see. But also, also, then again, same token, something you need to consider here is that up throw up air for Inkling is gonna kill. Hilarious. Oh, it's gonna kill. It's gonna stage. kill. Really you get good. a grab on a platform, you you better say your prayers, man, because uh you're gonna go for a ride. You might you might even see the almighty up there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna be starting off here. We're gonna be needing to see Jameis Man dropping one, and he will be doing so. Both taunts coming in, and it is time to get to work. It's going to come down to who gets the first hit here and who's able to extend the combo the longest, you know? Uh, both these characters are very good at comboing. One's better at verticality, one's better, you know, just across the entire length of the stage. It will be James Man striking first with some good amount of ink, but then again, Swift Baby's going to come up close to personal and start trying to tear away from this percentage lead. All right, nice. Oh, gets the E right there. Nothing from it, though. I like that. Just playing the center stage, using that back here and that uh, neutral special. Gets the dash attack. Going to follow up. That inkling movement yet again just showing itself to be really good. Swift Baby also looking to be really good right now, doing a good job of outpacing uh, James Man, catching him whiffing on a lot of situations, and yeah, Ooh. catches him dashing in right into the headway of that smash deck. He's gonna go for the for the egg roller to try to get away, but he will be actually taking that hit. Egg roller, not a move you see all the time, and that's usually because Absolutely not. Yeah. it's a misinput. That move is not very good. <laughs> Listen, listen, if the move is so bad, they would never expect me to do it, right? Right, right. I mean, that's, that is the thought process sometimes, but here's the thing. <laughs> so, right. up throw, up air. It's not going to be killing just yet, but, you know, again, another grab on this platform might be able to do it. It's going to jump right into the splat bomb. And, you know, Ooh, Swift nice. Baby Swift Baby is at kill percent here, Acoustics. So, you need to take the stock quickly, uh, or you're going to be down going into your final opponent, which you do not want to be. Oh, yeah, you absolutely don't want to be... Oh, almost catches the missed tech right there. A nice Ooh, beer versus Eggly. Yeah, got a lot of damage on the board, too. Has 47, looking for more, trying to go for another... He keeps going for, for the, uh, the the Yoshi Eggly and not quite getting them. But again, if he gets it, there's a big net swing in his favor. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He'll definitely get more off of, like, a straight hit uh, than Inkling would. Oh, nice. All right, he has to give a 156, one roll move, and this could be game. Yeah, and you know, we were talking about this in the first set, Acoustics. Once you pass a certain uh, kill window, Inkling has a much more difficult time closing out your stock. So you need to be really careful. There's the egg lay. We were talking about it earlier. Catches him with the oh Yoshi bomb. Oh, my God. And, oh, yes, into right into the, the egg. egg. Into the egg. big header, baby. And he manages to keep all three stocks. Oh, Man. wow. That, that was, was that was that was kind of sick. That was sick. That was sick. Great follow up right after the egg toss. Realizing, oh wait, you're you're in the sky. We talk to you, baby. <laughs> Dude, that was such a sick play too. He got the egg lay, read the mash perfectly so that the Yoshi bomb sent him up in the air. Then he used his double jump to rise really quickly, get the egg lay, put him in disadvantage without a single jump to his name, and then just mm -hmm. execution on that board. It was perfect. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And with that, Swift Baby is going to manage to keep all three of their stocks against Arc Mage, making this the fair mano y mano match. Yes. 3v3. It's time. Yeah. That's a really big deal because uh, uh, who's the player in the back now? That... Arc Mage. This is yeah. Arc Mage now. Yeah, Arc Mage was originally the mid player uh, first set around. Right. So, 
but now you're playing in the back against Yoshi, and I'm going to be honest with you, we're on FD, so, you know, pretty good Robin stage, particularly in this matchup. Uh, Swift Baby mm -hmm. trying to be player one uh, so that we have our overlay correct. Yep, there it is. Yes. Thank you. Love you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for listening <laughs> to production. Making, making our jobs easier. You guys are the best. All right. All right. But it is showtime now, folks. Uh, this mm -hmm. is this could be the last this could be the last game. This is a set point here for Swift Baby. And Swift Baby seems to be the strongest player on UNCG. However, I will not count Archmage out of this because you know, having a sword means you're going to be able to catch Yoshi jumping into you a lot oh, more. Oh. And projectiles are going to make it easier too. Hey, listen, sometimes the egg is mightier than the sword. <laughs> True, man. They got that protein <laughs> yeah. in there. That's a nice. All right, gets a little near out of shield right there. Knock him right out of uh, arc fire. Oh, oh jab the jab lock is in there. Not gonna go for the second jab. I respect it. Uh, just get some extra damage on the board. Back air. He's gonna get a lot of extra damage too. And the egg. These Another one. He gets a spike. Oh, oh no! Uh, this brother is cooking. He's cooking eggs. Man, you know the, the the name Swift Baby really is doing him justice because he seems like he's speed running this this match right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's eggs yet again. Nice, uh, good strong there. Strong fair. Tossing out that arc fire. Ooh. Gotta be careful though. Like Yoshi has the multiple jumps to kind of get away from it. And he's able to float just through use of egg. Right, and there's there's a lot of single hit aerials that uh, actually pretty much all of Robin's uh aerials except for the neutral air are gonna be single hits. So that heavy armor that Yoshi's got is gonna be able to just power right through a lot of them. Oh, yeah. And then again, this is also the thing about uh about Yoshi, just his weight. It's gonna like drop uh, Robin's kill potential on him, not severely, but just enough that you can get those few extra interactions, which with Swift Baby is just making great use out of. Yeah, right now, just it, it seems yeah! like Archmage is getting outpaced, not able to get the the resources they really want up. And whenever whenever Swift Baby clamps down, they clamp down hard. Catches the jump out of shield with the F smash, an excellent bait. That was the ankle shaker right there. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if this was college basketball, we would have had a replay. Oh, my man getting taken right out of his toes. <laughs> no, nah, man, but there's no injury timeout in Smash Brothers. So you got to keep playing here on your last stock. <laughs> oh, and there's the high oh. helping out. But still going to get the kill right there. I, I think right. the, I think the Elwin knocked him out of the double jump. So he actually uh, didn't have any more vertical momentum to carry him. Wow. Okay. Nice good use of Elwin right there. Oh, there's the sword drops. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Stung him there with the, uh, the fire, but he's going to double jump out of it. Oh, it's hard my to come goodness. back into this though. It's very possible to come back in. The problem though, because it's uh, because it's FD, uh, Archmage also doesn't have like the chance to power oh. up any of the Thoron. Oh my god! Well, just like that, one other F smash is all it takes, and Swift Baby is going to be winning this one for UNCG. That was 2-0 oh. in their favor in Florida Atlantic with a couple oh. really good showings. Again, two very close sets for them. They they have nothing to be ashamed about today because they played great. But Swift Baby was able to come in last player and take five. And you know that that level of consistency it is no wonder why they are presumably the team captain here. Okay, okay, Swift Baby, I see what you're doing out there. Close it out for the team. Managing to make the clutch close out for both games. Great job to Swift Baby right there. Uh, and Greensboro is going to take that two over against Florida Atlantic, who is honestly one of our favorites. Even yeah, in LIU, I thought, I thought, man, they got it, but oof. So yeah, I think we we're have an interview actually. Yes, so we will be having an interview come in. Uh, I'm not sure who they are going to be electing to bring in, but I'm not going to be surprised if we see Swift Baby coming in to the mic. I'd be happy to uh, ha ask them some questions. So. All right, cool. So while we set that up, we're actually going to toss it to a quick little break, folks. But don't go nowhere. We're going to have a hard-hitting interview with whoever uh, UNCG decides to bring in next. So we're going to be here to talk about their victory. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Want to forge a better future? Start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions. You believe the best offense is a good defense. We've got a great way to prove that theory. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com.
Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing. A thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? working your way up from the bottom instead how does this sound starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations skip entry level decide to lead as an army officer becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here? You'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards. It's real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. 
And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Acoustics. We're here with Layered Casting, and we are now bringing with you guys Swift Beatty, captain of the Greensboro team, who just took it over Florida Atlantic. So, oh, Swift Beatty. Florida Atlantic was the favorite going into this. How do you feel about talk about your teammates a little bit here what was like that what was the thought process of uh, your particular orders going into both of these sets Against uh against uh Omnilax in the in the first game, you guys came down to like a one stock finish. Um basically like you winning by one stock at like fifty one percent. I figured they would try. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. This time, this time, time. Yeah, so you mentioned before that you, you think you're the best in the clutch situations amongst the rest of your teammates, and that really was able to show through during that second set when uh, you were down 5-3. to three. What was going through your head whenever you were uh, coming out to play? What was, what was your thought process going into the match? I guess moving forward, would you ever uh, consider any changes to your lineup in terms of maybe you going to first as a surprise pick against other teams? Or do you guys feel that you're comfortable in the, in the way that you have the team set right now? Okay. Yeah, man. So, hey, you got a big win under your belt today. Are you going to be able to keep that momentum going forward the rest of the tournament series?
Yes, thank you so much for your time, Swift Baby. Excellent job tonight to you and the rest of your team, and uh, good luck with the rest of the season going forward. Take care. So that is going to do it for us here tonight. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this production of ECAC Smash Brothers Ultimate. My name is Laird. This is Kustix. You can follow us both on our Twitters here. Uh, but for my friend Kustix, as well as everyone else here at Esports U, uh, who is helping run production tonight, thank you so much. I'd also like to real quick shout out the man who is behind production tonight, 7, Tanner 7. So thank you so hey. much for keeping everything down, keeping the audio levels fine. Exactly. And also, uh, just making a great production here that's been fun to work on. So until next time, guys, stay safe, take care of each other, and uh, be good. Make sure you stay hydrated. Take care. Ciao. What I can't do, I want to see the world. My vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals. That's real big. Foes, that's real big. Y'all offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows, that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. Except and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. others rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead want to forge a better future start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions if you believe the best offense is a good defense we've got a great way to prove that theory explore more than 200 careers at goarmy.com Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do, that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides.
Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? 